Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold and the season of nesting is finally here. I'm really excited to get started with this one. Lots of cool new stuff. We get a place to call our own, our own little home. We also get a brand new furniture shop and a ton of furniture items. So we're going to start our first quest by going to the furniture shop, but first I thought I would let you guys know what's going on with the actual housing building. So you can see here, looks like a little empty building. What's going on? Well, basically we can't access it right now. In fact, if we try and activate this elevator, it just breaks. Oh boy. And uh, we'll, whoop. oh hey, there's a cutscene that says, go here, go here. Um, anyways, I believe with our second quest, that is when we get the key to our house. So we should have it really soon. I think it's only one week away. So a little bit of patience is required, but in the meantime, we do get a pretty cool shared space where we can try out every furniture item from the shop within the furniture shop. So here is a brand new furniture shop with the orange canopy. Really cute, of course. Some big planks of wood outside. I like all the colors they've chosen for the shops. They really stick true to the season. All right, let's head inside and let's get started on our first quest. And then we'll do a little tour of everything that we can find within this shop. Because it's pretty big. Oh, it's so abandoned. <laughs> I love that the season stuff's all packed up. That's funny. There's your seasonal area. This is where we will have the, I guess, seasonal spirits. They're more like seasonal showrooms for this season. And over here, oh, what a mess. Everything's toppled over. But here's where we can light the nesting guide. Apparently they're a little bit magic. That's cool. I wish I could do that. <laughs> Eat the little logs go. And there's their picture there where you can see they're with the forest elder. Clearly they have apprenticed under them. And here the shop is looking a lot better already. Look at that. Everything's all lit. It's beautiful. And then over here is where we're going to start our first quest. So the nesting guide is creating some showrooms and they're going to need our help to create one more. Hmm. Yes. Beautiful. Better than I could do. I don't think you need my help. And then over here is where we can create our own. They're stumped. They need someone else to make it for them. Okay. I guess we'll have to do it. It's your turn to help that crate. Now what's funny about this is they give us three options and it kind of reminds me of those... Um, mobile game ads where they give you three options for building a house. It's almost exactly like that. I'm gonna pick the circular rug because the other one was too similar. Then I'm gonna pick, uh, I don't want the little chair. I'll do this big couch. And then, oh, I don't want to do the same table. I also don't want an empty table. I guess I'll do this little one, like a footrest? Sure. Sure. That'll work. Something isn't quite right. Ooh. Okay. They want us to go pick up a little chair that we can add to our display. And of course, when we pick up this chair, we'll actually own it as well. Oh, no more items available. Okay, hang on. 
All right, it seems like there is a bug right now. Um, so this chair isn't available, which is kind of funny. Um, I'll be right back when it is fixed. Okay, that was actually a very fast fix. It only took about an hour. Um, I think I've decorated my room the same way it was decorated before. It could be different though. An hour has passed. Uh, and then here we can pick up our little stool. And this is a furniture item that we can unlock for absolutely free. I mean, up for your character, unlock for free. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're gonna add it to our display. Uh, oh, it kind of looks silly with that little footrest now, doesn't it? I guess I'll just put it there, like a side table. <laughs> sure. Oh, you don't have to, you, you don't have to lie. It is complete. Is it nice? Eh. Maybe not. All right. There's the displays. If you want, you can sit on them. All of, well, most of the furniture is interactable. You can also sit on their display over here. And I think this table, yeah, you can stand here and drink the tea. I'm so short. My character is way too short for this table. But pretty cute. All of this is furniture that you'd eventually be able to unlock if you'd like to. Hi, nesting guide. Turn in my quest. The nesting workshop is now open. Yay! New furniture will debut regularly and return often. And then over here we have a shared space. And this shared space is equipped with every single furniture item that they sell. So a lot of items. The seasonal area is now open, so we can unlock items from the, I guess, seasonal spirits. And uh, I'm gonna get my heart, and then the next quest is one week away, so one week until we officially get our homes. I think now we'll do a little tour, but first I'm going to annoy the guide because they do not let you behind the counter. No, 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 no. Okay, fine. So, uh, yes, over here is where our seasonal showrooms are we can get any items from here all of them are available with the season pass only some are available uh, with no season pass i do have a complete guide on the season if you'd like to check that out we also have rotating items here and you can interact with a lot of them this bed for instance you can lay on the oven for instance you can light this is like a little piece of a shelving unit they have different sizes that you can buy so you can make some pretty cool unique shaped shelves and this is a stool, but a different stool. So these will rotate once a week. We'll have new items next Monday. And this is where we can actually buy all of these items. Now they are extremely expensive. You can see here the bed is 24 hearts, but you can see you get two beds with that. Um, the shelving unit is 88 candles, but you get eight shelves with that. That's pretty expensive. The little oven here is 35 ascended candles. The stool is 32 regular candles for four stools. Pretty pricey. But again, you can pick and choose which ones you actually want to buy. I mean, obviously you might not want to get the stool because we just got a free stool. And you may want to wait for an item that you actually would prefer to have, or you might not want to buy any items at all. It is a lot of currency to spend. And it's not really something that you have to buy, especially if you're getting the season pass, you're gonna get a whole slew of wooden furniture anyways. You don't really have to buy any of the stone furniture here. But there are a ton of different variants of furniture, like there's different ovens, there's different sinks, there's different shelves, there's different stools, tables, rugs. So I would wait and see which one you might want to get before you actually buy them, because they are a big chunk of your currency. What if you get something that you might regret, you know? Um, here is a shared space. And the best thing about this shared space is that it gives you access to all of the furniture. So you could actually check it out in uh, really close detail here. Here's a little mirror, although it doesn't reflect. Little tea towel or towel rack. Uh, lots of new items have been added. And it's a great way to kind of start to experience what home building will feel like. So you can decorate your perfect room here with all of these free items and then maybe put those items away on a wish list that you want to get eventually. Nothing has to be bought immediately. All of these stone items are permanent items, so they'll always be here even after the season ends. Oh, for some reason the displays appeared. Weird. Of course, we can also place any of the items that we've got from previous seasons or previous events. So 
I do have a lot of those to decorate with. I'm kind of overwhelmed with decisions right now. Oh boy. If you're ever overwhelmed or you need some inspiration, you can, of course, check other player-made creations. So I highly recommend checking out other players' um, shared spaces. They will give you a ton of inspiration. Some people are so creative. So creative. In the beta, we had people building um, like the Divine Beasts from The Legend of Zelda and computers and it was so funny. Here's a little living room and a bedroom. It's simple almost. There's not too many items here, but it's a perfect little home. Oh, hang on. I don't think that mannequin's available. How suspicious. But I do love what they've done with the shelving behind the, the chair there. And the shelving over here is really cute. Oh, so nice. And you can see here, this person didn't even use very many of the new furniture items. They mostly use items that they already have from the anniversary event and from the Christmas event. Things like that. So you definitely don't have to just buy furniture items to make a cool shared space. I've seen some people make their little nest apartments look like a campground or something like that. It's really cool. People are very creative. What else have we got here? Oh, cute. I love it, it's perfectly cluttered. Oh, such a good job. Little bathroom and a kitchen. Oh, here's someone made their own little small section of a home and they made a desk. Yeah, I really wanna make a computer. Someone made an awesome computer in the beta and I think I have to go find that and take some inspiration from it. But yeah, that is the shared space area that is within the furniture shop, a good way to kind of practice before you make your own nest next week when we finally unlock them. Yeah! And of course that is the first quest, a pretty simple one, we just make a little display. Yeah, that's everything I have to share today about the quest and all of the stuff in the furniture shop. Thanks so much as always for tuning in guys, I appreciate it. If you need help, I do have a ultimate season guide, I'll link it below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!